on my github.com slash Bramsey's if anyone is interested in checking out the code. Uh, so I am very bad at commit messages. Qdrint edition factory. Yeah, just to do the Qdrint factory. And let's just commit that. Save all, commit. I just did that. Push those. Okay, so now I'm going to search a query and we're gonna find the closest one and it's gonna be the right payload <laughs> because we use the right distance formula and it's gonna be great. There's not, it's not not gonna work, right? It's not not gonna work. Uh, so let's say search Qdrint const, search Qdrint collection with our query. We have to check if the collection exists. Perhaps Copilot will just write this whole thing for me. We create embedding of a query. We get the query vector. And then we search points and we log the result. Yep. 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 <laughs> Await search points. Expected three to four arguments, but got two. Uh, collection name is test. Wait. Collection name is out here. Yep. Okay. And then the string uh, vector and then top number one okay top number is one and then we don't need a filter so let's just say one and then we're going to do search points um or wait no sorry search fugent collection for let's say a dessert a delicious drink ID two payload null score point seven five. So it's good except the payload being null. So maybe we can say uh, the first president, <laughs> the first U.S. president. Okay, so why is the payload null though? <laughs> like this is good except the payload and vector being null. Um, vector vector top top response dot data result zero okay so why is the vector null let's go to chrome let's go to qdrint's documentation and find out search cosine similarity dot similarity euclidean distance all really good stuff but how do we get the payload why is the payload null where's the payload uh Filter by score. Negative vectors is an experimental functionality that is not guaranteed to work with all kinds of embeddings. Neat. Bro, why is the payload null? <laughs> Just tell me that. I don't care about any of this. <laughs> vector search, filter, params, and then this comes up with vector similar to this. Okay. Yes, right? ID 10. Okay, maybe I should just... Oh, payload and vector in the result. Oh, I have to do this with vector with payload thing. There it is. Okay, so Visual Studio Code. Swappy swap. And then I'm going to go up to... The function that's totally right here. And I'm totally going to remember exactly what it told me to do. That's exactly what I'm planning on doing. Uh, I think that should be fine. All 
All right. Save. Boom. Let's go. Oh, dude, that's great. Now we need to see what's inside of the payload. Res dot result. Wait, red res dot result zero dot payload dot file name. George Washington dot text. Who is the first president of the United States? George Washington dot text. And you can even spell it weird, like super wrong like this. Watch. So like I can be like United stays you know what i mean or something like this it is still going to return george washington george washington like that's that's the power of semantic text like if there's if there's any if there's any argument for semantic search it's just what i just showed right there where you search the first precedent i of the united stiz one and it still comes up with george washington that's like a very <laughs> impressive ability all right, so what's the next thing? That was like the main thing that I wanted to accomplish, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, I might get rid of this function because I don't need it anymore. I guess I need to put these on a server. Beast going to set up Qtrent locally later and mess around with the repo. Thank you. Yeah, dude, it, this was, what, 145 lines <laughs> to, to do this this search, which was pretty cool. And most of it is just still like imports and stuff. Like really the only stuff that's being used is this open ai create embedding so i'm like creating an embedding there's logic that's happening here then i'm returning that response data and then there's a main function that i'm probably going to throw away uh where i was doing like score comparison but i don't really need to do score comparison anymore so i can just get rid of it so now we're down to 125 lines and we wrote these to the file collection by just creating the embedding by mapping our file names and just getting the file name and then uh, putting that into the the ser searching it with the Qtrip collection. So actually, that was very easy, <laughs> almost too easy. I hate it when things are almost too easy because then you get like not cocky, but like you're like it's like lulled into a false sense of of security is probably the best way. So like you know I can show you the file names too. And actually, I think a fun thing uh, tomorrow if you have any query for any of these that's like kind of off the cuff. So like what would you say for like looking at this list right here from a, a human to another human, what would you want AI to search to match against like George Washington or chocolate milkshake or NASA or Elgato stream deck? Do you have any suggestions? <laughs> like, um, dessert or, you know, uh, 1700s or like it could literally be anything space um mars uh who was the man in the boat okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good that's a good one yeah because the the painting of george washington let's do that Let's actually, let's, let's, first I'm going to do, I'm going to break it with, um, cause like it's just been returning George Washington. So we know that it's George Washington. So I'm going to do Twitch just to make sure that it, it returns something different. And then we can do George Washington. So we'll do Twitch and then we get Elgato stream deck. And now we can make sure that we get the right one. So who is the man in the boat? Did it, did it, did it, it, George Washington. <laughs> it worked. It worked. Look at that. We got George Washington dot text. And like, yeah, <laughs> <They're> crazy. <laughs> and that was again in like 120 lines of code. Like that wasn't really that hard. Uh, the next part is that I want to run this on like a bajillion files. <laughs> so that's the next hard part is that I need to figure out how to basically get it to just go through any directory that's given and then just like, because I don't know, uh, index all these files, do some upserting stuff. Yeah, damn, right? Yeah, it's pretty crazy, right? Like that was that's that's like pretty crazy that I got George Washington first go. And this is actually one of the smaller engines. So the one that I'm using from OpenAI is called Babbage. And uh, I can show you 